Hey everyone, today I'm doing a comparison between two 15 watt amps by Line 6. We got the Spider 4 here on the left and the Spider 3 on the right. Um, these are surprisingly different amplifiers for different kinds of guitarists. So I'll play you through four patches that I've saved on each of the amps and I'll talk a little bit more about the differences as I go. So first of all, what we'll do is compare the clean channel here, which is accessed by pressing the clean button. And I've got the gain set fairly high. Even at maximum, it, it doesn't break up all that much, okay? So we'll go at about three quarters. It's got a fairly jagged sort of edge to it, I suppose. Let's have a comparison, though, on the Spider 3. Now, to me, that is a completely different character. Even though all the settings are pretty much the same. Let's go into the crunch section. So again, we're going to start on the Spider 4. Okay. I'll play something similar. And again, the character is completely different. I'm just going to raise the volume on the Spider 4 a little bit because we do have an imbalance there. Moving on to the metal button here. Interestingly, I found metal, if you turn your drive down really low, you actually get a really nice overdrive sort of tone. But let's do what it's meant to do and turn that up. Okay, and let's do the same on the Spider 3. So again, I'm starting with that uh, overdrive tone I was talking about. And let's turn the drive right up and get the metal tone. And finally, we've got the insane tone here. Which is just Line 6's own distortion. And let's see how that insane channel sounds on the Spider 3. Alright, so now that we've listened through everything, let's talk about what I feel is the key difference between these two amps. First of all, I'd say they're both really, really good. For the price you can get these amps for, they really offer a whole lot, because I haven't even got into the whole effects side of things. But that's not the purpose of this review, it's strictly a comparison. And I have found that the distortions, the metal and the insane channel on the Spider 4, way outperform the ones on the Spider 3. And yet, the clean and crunch channels on the Spider 3 are clearly way better than what's on the 4. So it's almost as if the two amps, even though they look virtually identical and they're only one version apart, it's almost as if they were designed for guitarists who have completely different styles. So if you want to play clean and crunch tones, stick to the 3. You can get them for great value. The front panel is really nice, the lights are bright, the effects are excellent. The Spider 4 gives you better distorted tones and it also gives you the benefit of being able to attach an FBV pedal as well, which will allow you to select through these channels. If you're a distortion person, version 4. If you're a clean crunch person, version 3. And that's all i got to say. Thanks, guys!